welcome back to the channel um, and this is part of my solar journey. So I've been planning on making this video for a couple of weeks but then things have changed because basically I'm going to have a bit of a moan about the Solid Cloud app which is used to monitor my energy usage and energy generation for my solar panels. So there was a few things that I had uh, issues with. They weren't major but uh, one of them was basically uh, random errors um, which then would propagate um, throughout. So one of the problems I used to have was if I was looking at um, say the battery charging and battery discharging that was only to one significant figure i.e. it was to if, if you would um, charge um, 3.25 kilowatt hours it would only show 3 kilowatt hours and that would be the same for the discharge and the other gripe I had was that on a uh, daily generation, if you had anything above 0.5 of a kilowatt hour generated, so let's say you generated 25.5 kilowatt hours, it would round it up to 26 kilowatt hours. However, if it were if you were generated 25.4 kilowatt hours, it would keep it at uh, 25.4 kilowatt hours so there was something very strange in their sort of way of rounding up the uh their values and then this would propagate through and this would cause a discrepancy that i sometimes saw in um my monthly videos anyway this week there's been a um update to the source app and they've made things a lot worse um so um I'm just going to show you what the app looks like now. So this screen looks roughly the same. It shows your yield today. So you can see that I'm, at the moment I'm gener it's just before 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm generating 1.3 kilowatt hours. Um, I've imported 0 0.02 kilowatt hours. Um, exported today 0 0.12 kilowatt hours. Um, there's my battery. It's currently at 64% and charging at just over 1 kilowatt hour. And there you can see the battery charge today and battery discharge today and as you can see it's only that one significant figure. On the other side we've got the house consumption so I've used 1.2 uh, kilowatt hours in the house so far today but you can see that's to two decimal places so why can't they change it to the battery charge and discharge also say that. Anyway that's not too bad um, this is the daily view so you can only see this um, for the day that you're in, at midnight it it clears itself and takes over to the next day. And I haven't found a way to look back at historic charts from this. What you do get though is this bit below, and this is the thing that really has changed. So first of all, they've changed the color scheme. They've added in this orange color. It used to be um, particularly for this second bar, so the second one down on the screen as you look at it, which um, is labeled consumption. That used to be. Uh, green and red, which admittedly probably isn't that great for some people with colour blindness, uh, but now they've changed it to orange and red, and for me personally, it just doesn't look particularly good. But the main problem that I have is um, the generation uh, part at the top. So this used to be split up into self use um, and battery charging and stuff like this. So uh, the first problem I've got is with the generation figure. So it's saying it's, I've generated one kilowatt hour. But if you look above, I've got it to more um, decimal plates and it says 1.2 kilowatt hours. So this one only just to one significant figure. So if I go back a previous day, generation of 21 kilowatt hours, um, 30 kilowatt hours, 28 kilowatt hours. So if I know, I know on the 20, uh, 7th. I'm just looking for my spreadsheet because I make a note of what I actually generate each day properly. So on the 27th, I actually gen oh sorry, not the 27th, 17th, I actually generated 27.4 kilowatt hours. So they've rounded up. I've nearly gained an extra over half a kilowatt hour. Again, it's not a massive deal breaker, but over a course of a year that does sort of mount up and uh, throw out your data. And it's a very easy fix. Um, the, the other problem we've got is if I go back to today, 
Okay, so it's now showing generation to 1.2 kilowatt hours. That's uh, fine. But then you've got this consumption tab below. Um, and this is actually a major problem because above, as you can see, I've consumed 1.2 kilowatt hours. But it's saying here I've consumed 2 kilowatt hours, so which one's correct? I'm assuming it's the one at the top. But you've, for some reason, as soon as this ticks over a kilowatt hour, it rounds up to the next one. So it's not even round into the 0.5 decimal point. It's, it's uh, really messing around with this. But then it goes my self-consumption today. So they've changed this like self-consumption thing around. So it's saying my self-consumption is point, uh, 1.98. And my energy import is 0 0.02, which for my smart meter is actually true. So to get to that 1.98, they've just taken that value of 2 kilowatt hours, which is, has a massive rounding error, and purely taken away that 0 0.02. So none of these figures actually tally with each other or make sense. Um, as I say, the one on this view at the top, where um, you can see where the energy is uh, going in real time, that seems to be accurate. But you can't go back and look at it from another day. So this is where SARS really need to um, come up from this. And also it means that I can't go back and look at yesterday and find out how much uh, my battery charged, how much it discharged. I'd have to go somewhere else in the app to do that. And I can't see how much I'm using in real time, so I can't actually measure if my lifestyle changes are working, um, which what the old version of the app actually did. So my plea to Solace is, first of all, make sure everything actually tallies. I think that's just the minimum, that's just good coding. What's uh, another ec uh, sort of point of excellence in coding is actually put things in the right number of decimal places. So you can actually see, you know, you're most people are dealing in maybe 10 kilowatt hours a day. You need to have de um, at least one or two decimal points to make any, uh, to measure significance there. And secondly, um, yeah, just bring back all the other information. So like the battery charge and bring back the battery discharge. So yeah, slightly a bit of a ranty video, but I think you can actually see why this isn't great. Normally when you release apps or update apps, you make them better, not worse. Um, or you enhance in some way. So you take what you already got and you make it better. This has taken away the bits that were good and kept the bits that were bad and added more bits that are bad. Um, on the final bit of the gripe of this is that there are some other parts which are a little bit changed. So in this generation, in this self-use now, this is your PV versus your energy export. So PV generation versus export. Um, okay, that's um, you can see where the, um, where the house where the energy is going, but you don't know where what day you're using it because you could be saving it for a later day. So overall, it can be used to calculate your payback period, but. And then you've got your self-consumption again down here, which is your load consumption versus your energy import. But as I say, that's taken from the load consumption, which has been rounded. So, yeah. Yeah, so if you are uh, uh, having this sort of thing, the same problems with the Solace app, uh, please uh, comment below. Um, and I'll see you in another video soon.